yo what is good guys welcome back to another icy brash video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to basically stream with an elgato you're basically only need four steps or four items sorry you need four items your ios device or your android device doesn't matter as long as you have the adapter a computer of course and then the hdmi cables and the, the usb cables that the elgato comes with Alrighty, guys so first up we have the elgato so and the cables that the elgato came with first of all we're going to take this usb cord we're going to grab this end and we're going to look for the side that says in on the elgato so this side right here it says in we're going to go ahead and input that put that into the little slot so it fits just as so then we're going to get the other end of this we're going to plug it into a usb 3.0 port into our computer make sure it's a 3.0 port you can check if it's a 3.0 port if it has this logo on it we're going to go ahead and plug this into our computer over here and it should light up like so so it turns so it indicates that it's turned on now we're going to get our hdmi cable we're gonna plug this into the inside as well. Then we're gonna grab the other end of it. We're gonna plug that in. So now we can basically just chuck this under our desk. We grab our iPad or phone or whatever device you're using. Plug ourselves in. And we should be connected once we see this blue screen, this blue thing come up. So you'll know it's connected if you're on iOS. If this blue thing, uh, this blue sign comes up, shows up. And then you can go ahead and add any external things like, like your charger, which I have mine over here. So now it charges our device while we're playing or streaming. So that's the basic connection of it. Now let's show you guys how to add it to your Streamlabs. We're going to go ahead and add a scene or add a source, sorry and make sure the source of this video capture device. Make sure you guys have your, make sure you guys go to the Elgato website and download the Elgato software before any of this as well. So you can have your sound captured so your sound is captured and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and name this Elgato. Should load. And then we're gonna look for a device. Mine says number one on it. So we're gonna click that. And now we should see it appear on the screen in the background there. But if you guys want game sound to come to both you and your stream, you're going to hit, scroll all the way down to audio output mode and then click on audio wave out. So now you can crop it to how you like, control alt or just alt and then your mouse button to move it in the direction you want it to be cropped. Many of you like stretched res, so we're gonna go ahead and right click transform and stretch the screen now we got our stretch res yeah basically your game sound and everything will be controlled through desktop audio which would be this bar so now as you guys can see this bar is going up indicating that we have game sound you guys can go ahead and add your alerts and whatnot but hopefully this helped you guys if not make sure you leave a comment uh, type your Instagram I'll video chat you and I can personally help you out one-on-one -on -one if you didn't get this um, or understand it at all I try to make this quick and simple as possible so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you leave a like if it helped remember to comment uh, your Instagram or snapchat or whatever if you need help one-on-one -on -one so I can personally help you um, the port of creator code code I see brash and yeah thank you for watching signing off Peace.